and while most of the classes were a bunch of BS, and I went over that in my college, don't go to college video, there was one class that I took that was amazing, and it was called Business Ethics. Now, that doesn't sound like that, that great of a class. That doesn't sound like the type of class where uh, you'd hear things that would change your life, but it did change my life, and mostly it was because of this one book that we're gonna go over in this video called The Four Agreements by Miguel Ruiz. It's basically four agreements that you make with yourself uh, in order to live your life better and live like a better human. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Agreement number one is be impeccable with your word. The point of this agreement is to make sure that you're not lying to yourself or to other people. So basically when he says be impeccable with your word, he means if you tell somebody that you're gonna be in a coffee meeting at 11 a.m., you're always gonna be there. Uh, you're not gonna do like a last minute cancellation or anything like that. And I've found uh, in my life, the most successful people will always show up regardless of whether they wanna be there or not. I know there's so many times recently even the last couple weeks last couple months where i didn't feel like showing up to meetings and it's usually the ones that i don't feel like showing up to that are the most game changing for instance there were a couple of people that put themselves on uh, my calendly for experiment 27 and looking at their website off the bat i would have said this isn't a good fit for us but talking to them it was either that was just their placeholder website and they had some other company they wanted to talk about or it was just a good opportunity either way. Like both of those times that it's happened in the last couple of weeks, it's been great. So had I not been impeccable with my word, had I left and not gone to those meetings, I would have missed out on some potential deals and some potential new contacts. Number two is don't take anything personally. And my business ethics teacher said this works both ways. So when somebody says really bad things about you, haters as they call them, right? Trying to take you down. You don't think about that feedback uh, you try to get like the grains, right? Like if, if there's something that's uh, feedback that you can actually use to improve, then try to take that. But if it's something like, I hate your hair or you've got really bad teeth or something like that, that's the type of feedback you don't want to listen to. And then the other side is actually, he said, don't listen to good feedback either. So if I gave a speech and someone was like, that's the greatest speech I ever heard, my teacher's point and actually I think Miguel Ruiz talks about this in the book as well, is that's that guy giving feedback really to himself. So whether he says that was the greatest speech he ever heard or that was the worst speech he ever heard, that's really his opinion and his uh, lifestyle and his whole world uh, coming into that one comment. So really you, you can't listen either way when it's good or bad. The only person you can uh, really at the end of the day listen to is yourself. So number three is don't make assumptions. He's talking about in life and in business and in general, don't assume that you understand how somebody else feels just because you've had some interactions with them or you're seeing uh, actions. A bunch of times in the uh, past for me, I've thought that people were being malicious or that people were just making like stupid mistakes. But what really happens is, you know, they don't understand or I'm just not getting the full picture. So if I had jumped on those people and like gotten angry, that would have just made me look pretty stupid at the end of it once it's all figured out. So don't make assumptions is, is pretty big when it comes to uh, interpersonal communication and also for, for feeling happy at the end of the day. Right? I feel happy when I think everybody is just trying to do their best in the world. That's, that's the kind of frame that I always attack things through. Uh, everyone's trying to do their best and if they're uh, being malicious or they're being mean, I just dig in deeper and try to figure out you know, why that is, but not making assumptions about it. And then rule number four is always do your best. That means in everything you do, you're trying as hard as you possibly can. Whether you're gonna succeed or not is kind of up to life. Uh, recently, we were in a pitch with a client and our whole team rallied, right? Like we built this amazing pitch deck. We showed a bunch of our results, a bunch of our case studies. We customized the whole thing for this client. And at the end of it, they said they didn't want the business, right? They didn't want to work with us right now. And I didn't fault my team. I didn't fault myself because literally we did every single thing uh, we could have done to make it work. Everything was customized. You know, the pricing was right. The packages were, were fair. Everything was good. So in that situation, I can't feel sad and I can't even feel 
Like, uh, I, I don't even feel like it was a failure because we learned a lot about how to, how to put together a presentation. So always do your best is the final point because if you always do your best, you'll always succeed somewhere. Maybe in your own heart. Okay, thanks for watching the video. I'm Alex Berman. If you need marketing support for your digital agency, check out Experiment 27. And if you need more B2B sales training, subscribe to this channel and give it a like on YouTube to encourage this type of content. Thanks.